dear, I welcome you again to another episode of the way of salvation. God is talking to his people in this era of unprecedented happenings or occurrences around the world. And I believe through his word, you are being encouraged. Stand firm and live in faith. As I was saying in the other time, don't live by sight, but live by what you read in the word of God. If you live according to what you see on the television, it will put fear, it will pump your blood and give you high blood pressure. Don't do that. So just cool down and let God talk to you. Nothing will harm you if you put your trust in God. Amen. Today, I'm still looking at the same reason I was uh, letting us look at in the other episode. Why do some Christians live in fear? We are looking at the same question. Why is it that some Christians live in fear now? In this time that the virus is attacking some countries, he has spared other countries, but is seriously attacking others. Why are some people living in fear? Let's turn our Bibles today to the book of Isaiah chapter 53. I'll only read from verse 1. It says that who has believed our report? Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? You see, the prophet Isaiah was speaking to the people of Israel that he as a prophet he tried to generalize the message of the prophets. That is why he said we. You see, we are servants of God. We bring messages from him. And when we bring messages from God Almighty, it is very shocking that some people don't believe. So Isaiah was asking the question that who has believed our report? Who? So the next point about today is that people live in fear now because they believe in the report of medical doctors but not God as the healer. People believe that by the advice and expertise of human doctors eh, they can live and not die but not the report of God in, the, in his word. That is why Isaiah was asking who has believed our report? You see we as men of God we report to the children of God from a different perspective. We report according to what God has said. Whatever he says is the truth. Now God is saying that we shouldn't be afraid of any pestilence or any pandemic. Doctors are saying that it is real. They are putting fear in people. Whose report as a child of God will you believe? Whose report? That was the question the prophet Isaiah was asking. And he, he went further to ask and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? The arm of the Lord means that the God that we serve can reach out and save his people from anything that is happening in this world. I've been telling people that we are serving a spiritual God who has power in the affairs of human life. Coming to say you are a Christian is not a joke. We believe that God can save us from anything. Anything. He can do that. But if you say you are a Christian and you don't believe in God, it is a big shame. So, today, it is only doctors 
who, who, who presidents, prime ministers, and governors are listening to. It is good. They want to study a, a, a medicine and try to save people's lives. But when, it, when what they are doing clashes with the word of God, I'll go on the side of what God said. Please, let us make truthful and concrete analysis. This is a pandemic. This is pestilence. And God himself has told his people that we shouldn't be afraid. Doctors, on the other hand, are saying that we should be afraid because the disease is real. Real disease versus real word of God. Which one should you, will you believe? Which one will you believe? Believe in the word of God if you say you are a Christian. It is very sad that people believe in the human report. Mind you, the doctor is a human being too. So God has told me to say certain things. That most of the world presidents who said they believed in God but have ordered the closure of his house God said I should speak to three groups the first group has to do with politicians who are taking such a stand the second group has to do with the medical doctors who are advising the, profession, the politicians to take such decisions the third group it's about the so-called men of God who are representing God on earth, but it has come out that God does not know them. You see, if you believe in these three groups, you'll be in trouble. Number one, I told you in the other episodes that God will remove some of the politicians from power if they don't repent and cry to God that they have sinned against him by belittling him and by saying that when people go into his house, he cannot protect them from the virus. So they believe in the medical doctors. Now to the medical doctors also, God is saying that he's going to send strange diseases that you say your advice can heal. When it comes to that point, God will tell you, heal yourself. To the men of God, so-called men of God, who are causing people's faith, to get lost from God. You are misrepresenting God. God is deeply angry with you than, other, than the other two groups. Because you are causing people's faith to be lost in the Lord. And God is saying, I am going to punish such men of God. They will also be attacked by strange diseases. Whose report are you believing? I am reporting from the throne of grace. They are also reporting from their carnal knowledge. Who will you believe him? Who will you believe? God says something concerning a disease. You see, and God knows. That is why he sent his son Jesus to become a human being with flesh and blood like we are. Live in the face of this earth and go through what we go through. So God knows that there will be pandemics. There will be diseases. That is why he said we shouldn't be afraid. So let's hear what the Lord said to Israel when there was a pandemic, he was doing that. Anytime there is a pandemic or a pestilence, it means God is involved. He allows that. So let's hear what the Lord said in Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. The Lord said, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, he was telling Israel, and do what is right in his sight. Moses was telling the, the people of Israel, do what is right in his sight. Give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on, on, on you which I have brought on the Egyptians. God is saying none of the diseases will come near you. Listen to what he said to conclude the sentence. He said, For I am the Lord who heals you. Hallelujah. You see, God is the actual healer, not the human doctors. I put it this way. They treat, but God heals. You see, 
They are human beings. They treat, but God heals. But it is very sad that some of these medical doctors who are being induced by demons are trying to make God small and they will take the credit. That is why God will attack them with another form of a disease. Mark my word and see whether God sent me or not. When the other disease comes, then you we will see if you can heal yourself. You see? He is the healer. So if you are a child of God, you believe in this report. He is the healer. Not them. That is why when you go to the, the doctor and he tells you that you have cancer, you can believe in the report of God and say, no. I believe that God has not told me that. You can dispute it in faith. Pray and God can heal you. I've prayed for many people that doctors gave a report that they will die. I also brought in a spiritual report from my God that God told me that such a person will not die. The doctors thought I lost my mind. But truly, the person is still alive. You see, that is why I'm asking you, whose report would you believe? Believe in the report of God. He is truly the healer. The doctors are only spreading fear. And you don't have to live in fear. It is God who has the answer. Let me ask you a question. If God creates the whole world and you go to school to study what he has created, you and God, who knows the world better? Ask yourself. If he created this human body, you went to school to study how the body systems and mechanisms work. You come out and you are so proud as if you know better than he who created it. You cannot take credit for yourself. The, the, I, I respect the Christian doctors who are saying, as for this disease, it has overwhelmed us. Let us inter intercede and let us seek the face of God for him to end this. Listen to me. This pandemic will end when God decides to end it. They are only speculating. Uh, they cannot even tell what is happening. Today they will say by, by, by September there will be a vaccine. Another time they will say maybe it can continue for one year or two years. They don't know what to say. Today, this doctor will say this. The next day, the other doctor will say that. It means they are human beings and they are very limited in their knowledge. God has the answer. The doctors are spreading fear. I heard one doctor say, Americans, you prepare. The following week, about 200 people will die. I ask myself, how can you say that? How can a human being say that? How on earth can you predict that some 200,000 people will die? And interestingly, the following week, 200,000 uh, 200, people did it die. You see, it tells you that they are only human and they are only speculating. Don't believe in their report. You see, believe in what God has said in his word. I, I'm still reminding you of Psalm 91. We should not be afraid of the pestilence. That is the best report God has given to his people. You see, don't allow them to put fear in you. You see, why I said, if you, if you look at what is happening and you listen to their report, it will bring fear, it will inject fear in you and you will put your faith away. You see, the Lord was walking on the sea and to the amazement of Apostle Peter, he said, eh, a human being can walk on the sea too. There's a Lord. Let me walk on it too. Then the Lord said, oh, come. Meaning that if you follow my word and believe in me, what I do, you also do it. And Peter got out of the boat and he began to walk on the sea too. Hallelujah. But interesting thing happened. When Peter was walking on the sea, he started looking at the sea and the waves. You see, anytime you begin to shift away from what the Lord says and begin to look at the other side of the spirit, you will lose your faith and fear will come in and attack you. You see, 
the eyes of Peter shifted away from the Lord. It's just like a remote control. I always say it this way. If you have a remote control, the sensor works within a certain uh, parameters. If you go away out of that, it doesn't work. So when Peter was within the range of the Lord, he was walking on the sea. When his eyes shifted and looked on the sea, he looked downwards on the sea, he began to sink. That is what is happening to many people. Your eyes have been shifted from God Almighty. And you are now looking at the television. Listen to the report of people. They are injecting fear in you. So you are now listening to them. It will shock you that the Lord told me that since the era of this coronavirus, some people have not read their Bibles. It is very sad. The Lord told me that. That some Christians, so-called Christians, have never read their Bibles since this disease came about. It is sad. What is the reason? It beca- it's because they are watching what is happening and they have forgotten the report of God. Come back to God's report and you will not be afraid of anything. Let, 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 us, let me encourage you from a word in Psalm 68. Let us turn our Bibles to Psalm 68. Keep your faith with God because it is not a joke that you gave your life to Jesus. Psalm 68. I'm only reading from verse 19 and 20. It says that our God is the God of salvation. Hallelujah. We are serving the God who saves. Listen, if you don't believe that he can save you, why did you trust in him to give your life to? Eh, Why? He's a God of salvation. And he says, and to God belong the escapes from death when there is death surrounding his children God is the one who causes us to escape hallelujah we can escape that is why David in fact David knew God very well that is why he was saying in Psalm 23 that even though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death I fear no evil because he is with me Hallelujah. The shadows of death. You see, anytime you see a shadow, it means the real object is around. That means where David was treading, or when, where he treads, death could be around. But he says, I am not afraid because the Lord is with me. You see, Christians, don't be afraid. Our God is with us. He is with us. He, 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 that's why David said, The escape from death belongs to God. Verse 20. uh, that, that That was verse 20. Verse 19. I should have read from verse 19. Verse 19 says, Blessed be the Lord God, who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation. I like the word salvation. You see? He saves his people. So my dear, this thing that has overwhelmed presidents, that has overwhelmed prime ministers, that has overwhelmed governors, and they don't seem to know what to do, the answer is simply given in the word of God. That is what I'm here to expound them to you. If you believe in the report I've just given you, put fear behind you and begin to live in faith, you'll be shocked that they, if, you, if they say you have a virus in your country, you go and test and you will be negative. I've seen a powerful testimony that some doctors played my voice at the hospital and sick people were rising up. If you are a medical doctor at the hospital and you are listening to the sound of my voice and, I'm, and you believe that I'm preaching from the same God who says he is the healer, Play this voice in the hospital. And I pray in the name of Jesus that people with coronavirus will rise up in the name of Jesus. That I pray that let the virus depart from their bodies. And they will be negative. They will live and not die to the glory of my God. All because my God still heals. And I'm here to tell you that with God all things are 
possible. May God bless his word. I will see you again next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you have been enlightened. To hear more, you may subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to see more videos. Pastor Kukudatsi has written a very informative book called How Demons Operate. Grab yourself a copy to know how they operate and know how to liberate yourself from demonic oppression. To stay in contact with us, you can reach us through these details. God bless you.